looking at you know alien ship and just seeing like how everything is just going down and you know the peril that's happening and then bruce is running right into like the um the smoke, you know, sort of like, you know, when, when the towers fell like that, you know, that, that, that smoke just, just washed over like, you know, um, New York and everything, or, you know, the city streets and stuff. This is what we're seeing right here, you know? So um, it was a really great, you know, beginning, beginning scene. And that's a great way to start the nerd psycho comic flick show. Hey everybody. Welcome to the first real named episode of the nerd <laughs> psycho comic flick show. I am SC Hitch, and these are my uh, my fellow nerd psychos, DP Brown over here on my left, and Michael. <laughs> we're gonna name him later. I, uh, gentlemen, <laughs> one of the things that this uh, this movie does get right is certainly this this collapse of Wayne Tower, and and as you said, the 9/11 esque destruction that we see here, and and, and I love. I love how you bring this up, DP Brown, because I, because this frames, uh, this frames this movie so well as a metaphor for 9/11, and 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 the idea that that we all lost our minds, we all went cuckoo bananas for a while. Uh, we've talked about this when we talked about episode two, right? Uh, which came out in two thousand May of two thousand two. Mm -hmm. So it's this destruction that hits home, and all of a sudden everybody freaks out, and, and of course Bruce Wayne freaks out. Michael, what what did you think about the uh, the fact that when when he shows up to see what's going on, he shows up as Bruce Wayne? What do you what is what do you make of that? Well, you know, it's the daytime. You know, he's trying to handle some business at that point in time. You know, he came right. in a helicopter. He didn't come in his Batmobile. He didn't come in the Batwing. You know, so I mean, he, he's coming in to he's coming into Metropolis to do some business. Right. So he had his business pants on. So, but, I love it. So love with it. that in mind, you know, I mean, his his reaction though is you know all Batman reaction. You know, uh -huh. pushes everybody out of the way. Let me get in this car. Let me drive this car like it's the Batmobile. Right. I'm going to drive yeah. it through <laughs> destruction and mayhem. Yeah. And, right. And I'm going to get out of this car and I'm just going to run right through the dust and rubble. Yeah. And I'm going to pick up this steel metal pipe and save this dude. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, he, 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 he's still Batman, but, you know, he's, he's he's Bruce, Batman he, tendencies. Batman right. tendencies. He still has the Batman tendencies. Like, he's got a lot of them. His, this is Batman's side of his brain kicked in. <laughs> If you didn't know, if you didn't know what type of movie this was when you got there, you know what I mean. If you had no idea, you would be like, "This guy's got a lot of Batman tendencies." You got, You're absolutely right. <laughs> He's got some he, Batman tendencies. Then he'd be dressed like Batman, and you'd be like, "Right, like, is, is could, that? Could that be?" <laughs> if you couldn't get past the fact that you, it was Ben Affleck, right. you know. This guy has a lot of Batman tendencies. Whoever he's playing and everything. Ben Affleck. Right. <laughs> this and 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 what a, this is the origin scene that I like. You know, there's these two origin scenes happen kind of back to back. The there's the the Batman wanting to why Batman wants to kill Superman origin scene, which is great because I feel like they should they explain that so perfectly and succinctly. Right. I get it. You do not have to mention this again. The whole movie. Right. I understand his motivation. And then they show Crime Alley. Like, let me ask you guys a question. How many times have you seen? <laughs> The Waynes get it. Like seriously, how many times have you seen it? I've seen it dozens of times across council. I've I've made it happen. I think in a Batman Arkham Asylum game, right? I think at one point yeah. you have your yeah. scarecrow and he makes you shoot, makes you shoot your own parents. So do we need what? to? Like, we get it, right? Yeah, it's wild. Those games are really good, well, that, by the way. That, that's you that's why it's good they did it in a montage version, you know, <laughs> instead of having to go through it all again. What did you know, we say last week? Montage. What did we say last week about about these movies and about Zack Snyder specifically? Is that he's one of the best music video directors of all time? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Which is basically yeah. what Sucker Punch is. It's just a montage of music videos. Yes, that's, oh. that's, that's, it's that's, decent that's, for what it is, right? Let, let's not mention that movie, okay? Okay. So, well, it's, it's yeah, a lot of it's a montage of certain specific. Uh, right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. So kind of actually like looks that. a lot like this too, though the way it's framed and everything. So well, all all the all his movies, and I'm not going to say Daniel Snyder. I know he owns the Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, man. Oh. You, you're not on a podcast unless you're saying something dumb. I mean, it is what it is. That's kind of that's kind of the gig, right? That's so so gig. yeah, the the beginning. I can, okay. So they come in with the um the the beginning um mont well uh, montage of. And the Bruce, Bruce and his, you know, family getting his mom and dad getting killed and everything. It was a very good setup and scene. So if you yeah. don't know anything about Bruce Wayne's history, it's very well done as far as, um, you know, having, um, 
you know, his his parents get killed in that fashion and stuff and like the slow motion and like the the music and everything. One thing I did want to say about Man of Steel, I love the music, uh, Hans, Hans Zimmer music. It was very, very good. The music here is is even better. You know, the 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 piano and the way it just builds up to the point of when we see Metropolis and everything. I love the way it just built on that and just really succinctly um just 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 shrinking down Bruce Wayne's or you know Bruce Wayne's um tragedy at that point. Yeah, I mean that goes back to Hitchens' point as back to music videos. He's great at making music He's awesome. videos. <laughs> you know, yeah. here's the weird thing about this movie. I and I was I was feeling this uh last week when we were talking uh Man of Steel, but this movie makes me feel like if it were in say French or like, you know what I mean, or Japanese or something. And I was just hearing like the music and they, they maybe focused on that more. And I just saw the subtitles, right? Saw all the dialogue. And if it was clunky, I'd be like, bet that metaphor works in Japanese. Like I'd give them the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. And I think I'd really, really like this movie even more than I do. Except, of course, for the things that we all know I'm going to say. Uh -oh. I, I don't like about the movie. But that's foreshadowing. That's foreshadowing. Uh, now, we've no. been talking for a couple minutes here. Because we yeah, just like to drop the frame, needle. We're good. We're good on the opening frame. <laughs> okay. So open of the movie, open of the show. We like to give you a little taste of what you can expect. And and that's what that's how I think that a sample size should work. Now, if people like this and they want to subscribe, uh, DP, why don't you give the good listeners an idea of where they can find us and our content and if they like us more of our content? nerdcyclopedia.com people you will find all our links there so if you're going on uh, social media we're at nerdcyclopedia on twitter facebook and also instagram mm -hmm. make sure that you are going to our website to check out our um um links to our to to subscribe to your favorite podcast i mean i'm sorry well where we're uh, we're located on your favorite you know podcast outlet we're already uh, your favorite podcast i know not, we better be that's not you up know. for debate it's but we're on spotify we are on iHeartRadio. we are on um i uh, um uh, uh stitcher we are anywhere tune in wherever where, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast we are there if you're watching us on youtube right now make sure you're hitting that notification button so that you know that we are on whenever we're on um make sure that you are giving us some feedback you know at nerd on nurse at nerdcyclopedia.com um make sure that you are joining our facebook groups you know we have a we are on facebook um at nerdcyclopedia like i said but we do have a carbonite bonnet bs um um group page for star wars so we are going to be starting one you know at some point with our new nerd psycho comic <laughs> flick show Ooh. you know so be on the lookout Ooh. for that right um but just make sure that you're following us that's what we want you to do right behind us follow us that's right that's right and what is the nerd psycho comic flick show well we're going to discover that over time but but our our vision generally is to talk here about uh, the different sort of comic media that's going to come out. Uh, you know, the new Zack Snyder cut of Justice League was the genesis <laughs> of this and why we're talking now about Batman v. The, uh, the Superman, sort of the uh, the revamped prequel. I know, you know, if you're familiar with us uh, from other shows that we do, you'll know that me and DP talk about other sort of genre stuff. And we have a show uh, he talked about called Carbonite Bounty BS, which is a show uh, where we talk about um, Star Wars media. Right now, we are doing a review, a rewatch of the Clone Wars, the cartoon. Where, uh, we just are finishing season three. Season three. I'm sorry, season two. Season Part two. three is season yeah. two. So check that out. It's really, really nifty. Uh, you can meet some of the other Nerd Psycho family guys uh, over there. Uh, I'd be excited to have you. Uh, but this show is going to focus a little bit more on the upcoming stuff. You know, we've got a lot of really great media coming up. I know, uh, you know. Uh, Falcon and the Wonder Soldier is going to be coming out. Loki's coming out. And of course, Justice League, the real version, aka <laughs> the true no, no, version. No, 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 we're serious, guys, seriously, this time version. <laughs> no, no fool. We're, no we're, we're not going to extend this any longer, you know, and, right. and, and try to get another Zack Snyder Snyder cut. We'll, we'll actually make a new movie next time. We won't make oh, the same right. movie we'll... a different time. <laughs> we'll actually do. So, uh, so we hope you'll join us for that. And uh, we're excited. Uh, if you stuck with us this long, we're going to drop this in our old Nergendum uh, file slot. And uh, I'm sure we'll be doing all the boys content, I'll, everything you expect Nerd Cyclopedia to do with these this sort of content, the uh, comic book style TV shows. This is going to be your spot uh, for it. So we're... we'll be getting into the comic books, too. So, you know, That's just right. come to us for all your content and everything. So, we so if are you liked your... Sam and Scott are watching Watchmen, if you like, uh, you know, our other shows, check it out for sure. Uh, you know, we'll be glad to have you. Uh, getting back to the movie here, and uh, you know, I wanted to say this. My wife, 
uh, you know, when all the when all the bats were spinning around him and he was started floating up, <laughs> she just goes, "He can fly, Miss." <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, I don't know, I guess. Oh, I guess. You know, Zach, 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 Zach. I was Zach, like, I'm Zach, not making Zach. excuses. And she goes, and then she was like, you know, you you were telling me how mad you were that he killed people, but it doesn't seem like he's killing anybody. And I'm just like, we'll see. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Wait till he gets in his car. Yeah, I was like, that, I kept looking at her and going, it doesn't look like that guy went nighty night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, funny stuff. So she was gracious to watch with me sober at work. Glad to Holly, awesome. thank you so much. Um, so what did you guys – so we've talked a little bit about the beginning of this movie and how it sets up the tension between Earth and not Earth, right? And it kind of gives an idea of why Batman is going to be able to be corrupted by Lex. Uh, interesting that Batman's manipulatable here. What, what do you guys make of – what do you guys make of Bruce's drive to stop Superman? What, what do you think are the changes – that he makes between when we see him in Metropolis and the buildings falling over, and when we see him, um, when we see him in Gotham City, right, stopping the uh, stopping the sex trafficking ring. Okay, we see him then with this tank, with this jet. How much of this is is like maybe keeping up with the Joneses stuff that he's doing because of the Kryptonians? What do you guys think? What do you guys think was there? What do you would think was different about him before Superman? Well, I guess, you know, go back to what DP was saying, like, last week about, uh, you know, Superman never really had an equal, mm -hmm. you know, until he met Zod. So in, in this kind of res retrospect, you know, it's like, Batman, has he ever seen anybody up to the level of Superman, right. of the of the level of the mass destruction? Right. I mean, the villains he's seen, you know, Bane, Joker, Penguin, they're, they're not, they're Street, not Superman. Street so, level. I mean, right. he looks at Superman saying, you know, this guy can destroy can just level of city without even trying. So I mean, if no one can stop him, I have to try stopping him because I'm the only person. And that's you know his vanity speaking. You know, that's uh, only I can stop this guy. So let me stop him. Uh, to great great point. I mean, he comes in very intense. I mean, after everything that he's seen in Metropolis. He doesn't know Superman, so right. um, he doesn't really know that you know the the he just sees two you know beings flying out, destroying everything, you know his building, every other building, and putting all these people in danger, killing folks, mm -hmm. you know, with their you know fight and destruction. So of course you know he's going to be as intense as he is. Number one, he's Batman. He he's <laughs> automatically intense, you know, from the start. <laughs> so <laughs> so he's already on level ten. Right. He's that's, that's on his character sheet, right? Intense. Dude. Dude, right that gets right yeah. up there so so he takes it up another lot and so put a kryptonian put an alien into the equation uh, oh my god he has to you know it just brings his level of intensity that much more so of course he's going to step it up so now he's going from dealing with street villains you know grounded stuff no superpowers and everything to wanting to deal with to seeing like an ex existential crisis you know mm -hmm. they, they this world is finally has has, uh, has introduced the superman the alien you know um he's already uh, and batman's already a hero in his own right you know fighting crime and everything so he sees like the overall you know when he's in the um um in the bat cave talking to alfred he has his very uh, bruce has his very intense scene with um, with with alfred even if there's a one percent <laughs> We have to kill him now! Kill him now! <laughs> we must take it <laughs> and not and not pause. I mean, I, I just Wait. laugh every time I see that Ben Affleck scene because hey, he he sells it though. He sells the intensity. He's, he sells it. I, I I'm, I'm I'm not believing him. But hey. we'll talk about you know the Ben Afflickness of this movie you know as yeah. we go on. I'm, I'm but, getting psyched up though. I mean, when but he yeah, one percent. I'm like, yeah, uh, percent chance. Yeah. We, <laughs> we to kill Superman. You gotta yeah, kill him. oh, he's Superman. So I mean, okay, um, you gotta let him know we can do it. <laughs> so and Lex Luthor is like, that's a great idea. I mean, <laughs> we should let him know we can do it. Here's a knife. I leave the knife right here. I just just put it right there. Yeah, so so he he he's he's on this different level and everything, and of course he has to step it up and um tries to locate the kryptonite to see you know if he could defeat this guy or you know kill this guy, and I like that intensity 
w- uh, with him throughout the movie until we get to a certain point where I'm we'll just questioning. We'll, well, well, okay, okay, oh, okay. We'll get we'll, to that. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so oh, yes. so so to answer your question, Hitch, yes, he he's really you know his his level of intensity is is different than what he was before you know the alien came into the picture. Mm-hmm. You know, this is this is one of those things that I really I really did sort of appreciate about this is that you know. Uh, you know, Ben Affleck it does really play a pretty good obsessed dude. You know what I mean? Uh, he 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 does, and um, and I I thought I thought that that well, there's a lot of pieces of the performance that were really good. Uh, I like the casting again. Henry Cavill's a very good Superman, very good Excellent. Superman in my opinion. I, I don't like all the casting. Okay, well let's Uh-oh. go through right. it a little bit here. You can you can surprise me. All right, first yeah. so, I'm gonna start so with one. I'm lo- start with one I know. Nine. Yes, yes, that's where I was gonna go. Ten of ten, I- right? Yeah, Excellent let, let me start off with that. I love Jeremy Irons as Alfred. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number one. He's doing yeah. the right then, type of Alfred too, because like, like that. This Alfred is the right sort of age difference from this Batman, where they're sort of right. like you know about twenty years apart. Where Batman's like forty five, and like right. Alfred is like, you know what I mean, like sixty five. Sixty five, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's it's that's right. very right, and we know we know of course from our experience with Watchmen that this man is an excellent actor. And so he, he brings no, exactly, a lot of, yeah. he exactly. brings so much to the role and what a really great, just a really great Alfred. And maybe, maybe if, if, if I'm being bold, maybe the best thing this, this does is actually show us this. <laughs> so oh, what, yeah. the, what the, this the guy was playing Alfred and everything would be, oh, be great. It'd be fun. Yeah. Just bring him back for Alfred for everything, everything. Alfred, Voiceovers. Yeah. Just give me him for Alfred all day <laughs> what do we think so so let's open a nice and uh, this is a nice question to ask here what do you think about about this alfred versus michael kane his alfred i like my uh, i like michael kane's right. you know version different world different version all right now now say some men just want to watch the world burn in a michael kane voice dp do it <laughs> Some men. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Some there men just go. want to watch the world burn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I right. had to burn the um note. <laughs> <laughs> I had to burn it. It was too painful to, for to, you. To, to tell me it was addressed to, to me. To, but to, I could read it and stand to pay. That's the way. What's the point of all this? I burnt it. I burnt it. I burnt it. I burnt it all. <laughs> was to put all them push-ups he can't lift up his beam. <laughs> then you find out Michael Caine was just doing a Christian Bale impression. So it there you go. That's how it uh, goes. So very, so another excellent Alfred. I would say these Alfreds. Are excellent good Alfreds. Alfred. We don't. Yeah. Like, we love both of these Alfreds. We don't want anybody to think we're hey, hating on. Oh Alfred. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, but I mean, Jer- Jeremy Irons does it for me for Alfred. That's oh, yeah. that's a yeah. that's a spot on cast. Uh, Two thumbs up right there. <laughs> Excellent. Gal Gadot. Yes. Wonder Woman. Spot Wonder on. Did you know Spot she on. was originally casted for Lois Lane? No. Really? really? Why? Yeah. Uh. yeah, she was originally casted for Lois Lane, and then she had some something else. I think uh, was something going on at that point in time where she couldn't do it. Okay. Well, it was a good, you know, whatever yeah. she 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 <laughs> missed. I mean, it worked well worked out quite. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She has Excellent. The right sort of look for like an immortal. Yes. You know what I mean? Fighting yes. in the goddess. Oh, man. Right. Knowing yeah. Alexander the Great and like, you know what I mean? Like that sort of uh, that sort of person. I like I like the timelessness of her look as, as Wonder Woman. Uh, I like she, that she she, she doesn't she, beat around the bush at any point in time, you know what I mean? Nope. She's just very direct. Direct and you know what I mean? And so, right. and so that's something that I think uh we like that casting a lot. All right, I'm gonna go into the first well, Amy Ryan, of course, we like from before. She's very good. Uh, Amy, yeah, Adams as, as Amy, Lois. Adams over, Amy Adams as Lois was great, you know. Well, yeah, she she's from the previous Amy movie. Adams. Yeah, Lawrence yeah, Fishburne yeah, very we good. About that. We like yeah. Lawrence Fishburne. So let's talk about the yep. first the first controversial casting that I'm going to bring up, and that is Jesse Eisenberg <laughs> as Alexander Luthor. We're getting one, one thumbs down. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, two thumbs one. down, and he wishes he had. He he, he 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 uh, he grew on me. He grew on as I watched the movie, you know, a few more times. His his take grows on me, especially towards the end. There, you know, um, it's sort of manic. You know, it's a different, definitely a different Luther take and everything. I, um, I think that's what my problem was. It was a different Luther, but yeah, I'll let you continue. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely a different Luther take. And you know, I'm glad he got the um the the ball head by the end of the movie, uh -huh. but um but definitely a different Luther take, a younger Luther take. Um, was in the right tone of the movie. So I couldn't see him in a different type of Superman movie, but it's I guess it's right for Zack Snyder's, you know, movie. Um, so I, I wasn't mad at it totally. It was just a little different. How about so, you, Michael? What'd you think? All right. So my thing is like, okay, he's a great actor. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. And he played a crazy, like a Luther perfectly well. He 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 played the script to where it was. I guess my problem is that's not Lex Luthor. Come on. That that is not Lex Luthor. Hmm. Lex Luthor is the president. You know, Lex Luthor is the the CEO of companies. Lex Luthor isn't this little boy trying to impress daddy and playing basketball with the, you know people. I mean, that's not Lex Luthor. You know, Lex Luthor is you know the most confident person in the world. You know, you, you, give give me my guy Stud Lex Luthor. You know, I want him to stand up and you know. I want him to be an opposing figure as opposed to someone who's five, five at a buck 20 wet and wearing jeans. You know, I, I was right with you in the beginning when I first seen, I was like, who is this guy? You know? Yeah. Who's this clown? You know, so, like, so Lex Luthor. So how old is this Lex? Do you think? Because I think Superman's 35, Batman's 45. Lex Luthor is in his early 20s? 30s, late 20s, 20, yeah, 20s, 20s or early between 30s. 27, 33. So yeah. he's precocious. So obviously, so this isn't one of those Lex Luthors that went to high school in Smallville for 15 minutes, right? So this is a little bit of a different, of a little bit of a different take. My take on it is that, you know, I, it's annoying text, but it's because I think what he, what Eisenberg is doing, what this, what this character is, is like mania. It's manic. Yeah. It's it's and and for for mania, there's these different types and and a clinical like um, a clinical mania has this like effect on you, right? It impacts your life. But there's this other thing called hypomania, which is below that on the scale, and it can lead to productivity. And so to me, what he is is he's in that state all the time, and it's what leads him to be able to be creative. It's it's like this uh, this wave of confidence and ability that follows him, right? That pushes him forward all the time. So it causes him to be irritating to people, which is one of the things about it. So I appreciated yeah. that because it, it showed like that that Lex is a genius, certainly, but he's also got a really weird tilt to his axis. Like he's not right. Right. So they're able to convey that there's this that this this uh momentum, fundamental flaw this momentum that's carried him forward is what's going to propel him it's what's propelled him into insanity and it already has mm. done that before this before we pick up here and maybe it had done it a long time before but i appreciated that about the performance although i understand why everybody hated him i believe that to have been a successful performance because of course he is lex luthor but he's not lex luthor well he's, he's this Alexander lex, right? luthor. we have all well that's true right Maybe that's true. Maybe maybe that's he's what not we have to Lex think about. Luthor. <laughs> so 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 here's the thing, um, Michael. So, uh, and you said this a little bit about um, uh, what did you say last week? Some it's not it's not your Superman or whatever. Right. Um, to a degree. <laughs> not my so so if, <laughs> so so if 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 so so the, this for this film and the last film and everything. A, a, a bit of your hang up is the fact of what you're used to as far as, you know, characterization, which is fine, you know, to a degree and everything. Um, I can totally see where you're coming from with this Lex Luthor because it was so far to the left of what we normally see with like um, 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 Gene Hackman, uh, what we've seen in Smallville, you know, what we've seen in the Superman Returns movie. You know, um, those Luthers were the Luthers that we know, you know, him being president and everything and like, you know, Justice League and stuff, the cartoon. Um, well, that, well, those are the Luthers. They, those, that's the Luther that we wanted to see on screen. This is not what we got. So the level of disappointment people came in seeing that this Luther was like, it's, it's totally understandable. Like I said, it grew on me as, you know, the rewatches happened. And I totally see where Hitch is coming from, his manicness and the, the way he carries himself and the understanding of the reason why he, he is the way he is. It's just his personality type as far as this Luthor. Yeah. So I totally understand what you're saying. You know, that's not Luthor, but it is Luthor in this universe. Now, I mean, like, as you said, you know, he's so far left. If you're going that far left, you better get something right. And 
he didn't get much right with it. And you know, I mean, that's you, I'm not you, saying you take it was a shot with it. You know, yeah, you 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 take a shot with it. I mean, you you live and die, you know, by your sword. And you yeah, know, you, if you're gonna throw this character out there, you you better make him a uh, an imposing character. To to the point of where I was thinking, okay, you know, he's too much like the Joker with his manic. That's and stuff. what I'm saying. Why, he's like why, a clown. why would you why would you play him like that? But like I said, I, Hitch totally brilliantly, you know, um, 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 defined why he's like how he is, and so I can I, like I said, this is genius. So like when he does this, he can't do it like it's not like he can open up a file. You know what I mean? Every single time he tries to do like anything that's spectacular, it has this push. And so he starts doing more things like something that seems like it makes sense, but it's a little bit more insane. And when you stack 50 of those on top of each other, you know, all of a sudden you're looking like this, right? And that's what happens to him. So this, so this state, which is, and this happens to, to, this isn't like a, just a thing in this comic book movie. What happens to this state is if you roll, if you lean too hard into a hypomanic state, it can turn into mania which would be a prolonged state where it impacts like your life like where you just have like you can have a breakdown or you can you know a lot of stuff can happen and that's what's happening to him but his manifest is manifesting as you know megalomania which again is a trait of this condition so it's it's very interesting to me to see all of this come out it's, it's cool so so where i'm where my issue i guess with this luther is when he does go up against um superman and batman to a degree um mm -hmm. it does it doesn't really stand up um, his I plan love his, sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fundamentally, yeah. Um, I love his interactions with the um the the the, the um the congresswoman Governor. or whatever the your, the Senate um, lady. The Senate, yeah. I love his interaction with her. I love his introduction with him and Clark and um Bruce Wayne at that party and everything. I love um you know those those little aspects that really didn't have anything to do with the superpowers and um was more you know ground grounding it down to earth and everything. Um, as we get further along into the movie, it gets to be a little bit more, okay, this guy is grating on me until the end there where, like I said, I thought he was, he he played a, a pretty decent, just crazy person. Uh, um, right. But he's just a crazy person. He's not Luther. He's just a, a, a crazy person. I mean, they, Luther's not a crazy person. But where are we seeing him though? Where, I mean, let's, let's be, I mean, not to be uncharitable or to say that like you're wrong or something. Cause that's not <laughs> right. This is officially a cat video, so it'll get views now. <laughs> by Better the way. It. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So so this Luthor, you know, he's he's got this he's got this manic condition, right? And his dad's his dad's company he's inherited his dad's company and he's doing good things, he's making money, and all of a sudden his hometown is destroyed by aliens. <laughs> and we come in, remember, two years after that. Not right after that. Two years after that. So I mean mm -hmm. Let's let's give let's give him some sort of benefit of the doubt that maybe before this happened he was normal. Again, just like we got done, we got finished talking about as a metaphor for nine eleven, that was a crazy pants time, and you shouldn't take seriously anything anyone did or did in the next five years. Like it's just what it is. We all know that it's this this crazy like wake that this right. big sort of just this random destruction that you can't uh, do anything about happens. You know, it come, brings with it. It changes um, people. It really does. It really does. And. You know, let's talk a little bit about comparative Luthors, right? Because if, you know, if we talked about, you know, uh, if, if if Eisenberg is a crazy, right? If he's a manic and he's crazy, and I have always thought of the Gene Hackman Lex Luthor as like a like a salesman extraordinaire, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. like the best salesman he's gonna, ever. The traveling vacuum salesman. <laughs> right. I have Kevin Spacey's, who was just some creep, and he played that really well. I thought he did a really now, good now job. Now you're forgetting like. The Lex Luthor that I always find the best is what DC always does right. Is the cartoon Lex Luthor? Yes. The Lex okay. Luthor in the movies. That's the Lex Luthor I want to see on screen. Right. So, so I mean, I guess I'm just picking. That's the one I want to see. Yeah. So this is fair. This is fair. I think you know. There's probably tape of me saying that my favorite you know manifestation of the Joker is Mark Hamill's because I find <laughs> the animated series Batman to be my Batman Prime. Right. And it's fair. I like. I always say everybody's all out their own on that. That's not a big deal. But right. for me, that's my guy. So I understand exactly what you mean. And that that Luthor in comparison to this is refined, confident, composed. Yeah, that, that's what, master, that's what right? I want to see on screen. I I think he can stand up with the Superman and Batman, you know, and impose and be the that imposing figure as opposed to this little whiny maniac guy. Course, I can I can agree. 
Of course, I'm also always reminded of when when uh, Lex Luthor captured Batman in the Justice League Unlimited, and the Joker was like, "Lex, trust me, kill him now, just kill him now." And Lex was like, "No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use him as bait." And Joker was like, "No, trust me, just <laughs> kill him." I was into that. So, um, so, that, so that's that's a controversial. I know, you know, Holly didn't like him either. That's okay. You know, it's it's all right to say that that was a failure because there wasn't enough of that salesman end of it, right? Why would anyone want to do business with this guy unless they had to? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Right? No redeeming qualities. Left poor Mercy behind. Yeah. Oh man, that oh, was just mercy. horrible. You know. Mercy. Um, I guess you know. Let's let's talk about the major. You know, um, controversial. What actually upset me when I heard he was cast as this character, you know, as soon as they announced, um, you know, this movie, Ben Affleck being cast as the Batman, Bruce Wayne, Ben Affleck, Batman, Ben Affleck, <laughs> who, you Batfleck. Know, now that we're on the, in the post Batfleck era, it's which is which is an interesting place to be. What can we say about about? We got a really, I mean, he did a good CrossFit routine for us right in the middle of this. There's a Rocky training montage in the expanded version that is like really like the type of thing that you'd think he would be sending to like several NFL teams. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I thought he was going to, you know, I thought he was going to like grab, grab a picture of Superman on the mirror and <laughs> rip it down. <laughs> oh man, he was getting prepared. He was ready, but <sighs> start throwing darts. <laughs> what? <man? laughs> My my, I I I, I tried to watch it this time with with just just coming from an outside perspective. What if I didn't know Ben Affleck? You know, didn't see his movies and looked at him. And he actually is a great Bruce Wayne. You know, he's That's actually true. pretty 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 good as Bruce Wayne. And true. has the husky. You know, and has and and then as Batman. You know, he has the chin. He has the look. He's fine. You know. But then it comes, I'm like, this has been Affleck, you know? So he was such a distraction for me and still is to this day throughout this movie as the Batman. And I think I, I actually need a film of him on his own as Batman just to get used to him. But this movie, it, it was just, this has been Affleck. This is his just personality and his bigness and everything. I would have rather them go with the unknown, you know, before I would have had Ben Affleck pay, play Batman. Yeah, I guess what they're looking for, you know, obviously, look, they're trying to derive Batman from the Frank Miller's Batman, you know, the old mm -hmm. grizzled, you know, the old grizzled big Batman, you know, um, and I mean, he is an old grizzled Batman, you know, yeah, and, but yeah. it, but you, you keep looking at him and be like, that's Ben Affleck, you know, what am I, how am I, am <laughs> how I am supposed, supposed to take this seriously? How am I supposed to take him seriously? Yeah, yeah is this, is this just, is this like actually a Kevin Smith movie? <laughs> Because yeah. that's legit. He's in both. Like, how do you know the difference? It's one of those things where, like, if right. you if you ever dream about Ben Affleck, how do you know you're ever in reality? Right? If you ever right, like, is like you never Matt meet him, him or else you're Robin screwed. Robin or Casey Affleck gonna be Robin? I mean, what's, yeah. what's going with that? But here, <laughs> well, if he was, it would make sense because he sucked. Because this Robin, <laughs> this Robin's dead. So I mean, it would make sense if it was Casey. Um, you know, I I think here's what I think we like Bruce Wayne, uh, Ben Affleck because. When it's it's Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne, we're in on the joke. We know it's Ben Affleck. It's Ben Affleck. Look at him. He's right there. And right guys, there. think about he's doing a pretty good job. We're actually surprised yeah. because we're surprised that he's doing such a good job, right? He has <laughs> Batman tendencies. He, he does, does have, have Batman, Batman tendencies. Yeah. He's brought it up in, in several other, you know, several other movies. So you know, specifically the accountant, which actually kind of rules if you one, know. one percent. <laughs> if we have a one percent chance, one percent chance. <laughs> so, why doesn't he work as Batman? So, th so that's the end where there's a problem. And if I'm, you know, to diagnose what the problem is, it's that they obscure his voice. The bat suit itself obscures his face, so it's no longer Ben Affleck as Batman. It's Ben Affleck. We're trying to hide the fact that it's Ben Affleck from everybody, right in universe. You know what I mean? But we're also kind of trying to hide it from you, and it just takes that away, right? I mean, he'd be better off without it, without any, just like with a see-through cow. You know what I mean? One of those Iron Man style deals, right? Where they just cut in, <laughs> and it's like, you know what I mean? Like Batman Beyond, they just cut in, and he's just like Tony Stark because he's doing a lot of Tony Stark stuff, uh, which is funny because obviously we all know that these things work the opposite way. <laughs> it's not how <laughs> Batman came it, first. <laughs> yeah, especially when it comes to DC, it definitely is going to be the exact opposite of what you what you want. 
you know. Yeah, exactly. Let's just throw a whole bunch of things together and see if it works. Yeah, see if see if it pops on the screen. Um, yeah. So I mean, he played a pretty pretty decent Bruce Wayne, and you know the intensity and everything that he brought to you know the role. I mean, I, I felt it. You know, he was he was legitimately angry and upset with everything. Had every right to be upset with everything that was going on with Superman, the alien in this movie, and his response to that. You know. Uh, had every right to try to go search for this kryptonite. He's got to take down this alien guy because no one knows Superman. What if he ends up like Zod, you know, and wants to, um, you know, change his mind and destroy the world or whatever. We see how that happened in Brightburn, you know, um, <laughs> it, it could end up just going off the rails and everything. So, I mean, Bruce feels that he has to take this guy out. So I totally understand that. And then Bruce, Batman, Batfleck, you know, whatever he starts driving, and you know, um, is vehicular and... manslaughter not a crime in this, in this universe? Does it count? Because, you know, like, I, I mean, mean guns don't does... kill people, right? <laughs> Wasn't there a video they put out like uh, Andy Samberg played Batman and Pat Oswalt was the penguin, and he was like, like saying, Oh, no, I knocked him out, and they're like, No, you killed that guy, he's really dead. And then he, you know, he's like, No, 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 he's asleep, he went nighty night. Like, it feels like that's some, some of what's going on, and, and it makes it hard to hard to almost root for for Bad Fleck in a certain cer- certain standpoint, you know what I mean? And I, I do like how Superman just like puts us puts an end to his <laughs> puts an end to his chicanery right away and so fast. <laughs> Just by being Superman, that that, that scene, that scene where he just like smashes. He says, the th- he says, this stops now. You know, <laughs> right. Superman is in real, you know, regalia Superman mode. This stops now. Mm-hmm. This guy, you've been playing, and how long it, the Batman has been playing Batman for a long time. Right, you right. Know, he's up an up old to this Batman. Point. So, yeah, know, he's been Batman for a long time. And exactly. Superman just came on the scene and is telling them this stops now. <laughs> right, <laughs> no more. Like, that's what, yeah, like, how, how did what gives you the right to stop Batman who's been around for 20 years before? And you, you just now? did what destroy like a whole city, you know? Yeah. With oh my goodness, he just man. did exactly what Batman was worried he was gonna do come and mess with his business. That's all he really yeah. he doesn't just stay out of Gotham City. That's all he ever wants anyone to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get stay out of Gotham. Gotham, get out of my business out and of everything. Yeah. That's that's it, you know. But you know, Superman having being righteous and you know, we're actually skipping a couple things because well, we're not going um, in order of plot. Because oh, okay, 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 everyone okay. saw this movie. We, so, it's three so, hours so, long, man. We're not going to sit I, here all night and just talk about it blow for blow. Yeah, yeah, it does not, it doesn't deserve it. <laughs> uh, okay, I granted that. So, so we're talking about just Batman and you know his cast and everything. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought um, him as Batman was very good. You know, I thought. Um, this is the Batman I actually always wanted to see because we're so used to seeing him flip and do, you know, do acrobatic stuff. Mm-hmm. We didn't really get a whole of that, you know, a whole lot of that in the Chris Nolan movies. We got practical stuff with, you know, Batman, Bruce Wayne, um, and, you know, him, you know, in stiff fight scenes, and stuff, which was fine, you know, for what it was. This Batman here, he's full um, throwing his, you know, batarangs and, you know, his, his, his gun and everything, um, um, swinging back and forth. Uh, what we would see in a comic book, this is the comic book Batman, what, have all, what I've always wanted to see. You know, um, just a lot of not stiff movements. We, we've gotten the Michael Keaton. We've gotten like, you know, the Val Kilmer. We got like the, um, the um, you know, the um, Chris, you know, Christian Bell and everything. This Batman here, he's loose. You know, he's like, you know, fully athletic. You know, the the one of the best scenes in this movie is that fight scene at the end yep. with him and um, you know, yeah. all those other, you oh, know that, yeah, that scene was well played. Yeah, yeah I, from I, the I, raid, man. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. the guys from the raid. You ever seen the raid? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. that's why I was so it yeah. was so choice where he's he's smashing people through like the floor. <laughs> Ac- Acra, you know, he he, he takes so his guy's hand and p- smashes them um on the crate and everything and just flips, you know, um when, when the guns and stuff. Ugh. I mean that that was one of the best Batman fight scenes I've ever seen, you know, in, yeah. in a movie. That, that was actually when we actually got to see Batman being Batman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're so, just like this. This is two hours and forty five minutes into there, this but... movie, and you're like, why wasn't this like scene two? This should have right. been the second right. scene well, of this movie. Or, 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 or better, or, or, or when he was rescuing, you know, the the, the girls from you know the, the sex trafficking. Yeah. Or, yeah. or or better yet, why wasn't it his own movie? <laughs> well, Sam, that's a whole different story. Okay, anyway, 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 all right, all right. We're talking about BVS now. We all know that there are two comic book 
cinematic universes. One is successful, one is not. <laughs> We're not talking about the successful one tonight. <laughs> we pulled DC this week. It is what it is. Hey, there's another universe by the end of March that's coming out, you know. That's King right. Kong versus Godzilla, finally. Oh, wow. Finally. Okay. <laughs> um, But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really, you know, this, this Batman is – different you know from the ones that we've seen on the screen on in the, in the movies earlier so i mean i'm 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 all i'm all for this batman maybe not as is 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 shaky on the bruce wayne portion but I, I've, I've watched this several times and i think this time me actually seeing or actually getting out of the way of thinking and you know looking at him as ben affleck i've seen he played like a decent bruce wayne i i agree with you i don't think Ben Affleck was the cause of this movie being a bad movie or a subpar movie. You know, he he played his role, and like you said, get over the fact that he's Ben Affleck. You know, it's a, he he does a you know a good job of doing what he does there. I mean, unfortunately, it takes a long time to get to Batman being Batman, and you know, I mean, it, it takes a while to get there. But you know, it's it when he gets there. You got there. <laughs> here's here's the problem with this movie is that ultimately this movie could have been solved by Superman just going yoink to Lex and just going to Batman and being like, this guy's the problem. And then just like dropping him <laughs> and being like <laughs> making him talk. Right. I mean, I mean, right? pretty, 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 pretty much. I mean, um, and then, okay. So, you so got like, the... you know, that's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> Why is Lex yeah, Luthor stupid? And I mean, the the whole Batman fighting Superman and everything. Um, I know it's called the movie's called Batman versus Superman, but I don't know. Um, it 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 came also it came across a little forced, yeah. you know, just to make this 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 fight between them two ha- you know happen. We all know that Batman is you know hella smart. And um, it, it has, and especially from the Dark Knight Returns, knows how to, you know, um, beat Clark's butt. And Clark is not as adept with that, but we know Clark is way more powerful than than, than Batman and can really, you know, just run circles around him. But this movie forces that fact. It didn't really do enough to me to to make these two, you know, that that much of an adversary, you know, adversarial. Sure, you know, uh, Batman wants to take Superman out. But we get to a point where, okay, okay, let's just, just the, the whole Martha thing, you know. Okay. We're going there already? All right. So, <laughs> We're going right there. Martha oh thing, um, I, I, I'm going to admit, I didn't really, I, I didn't really put together when I initially seen this in the theaters that, that bo- they both had the same, the, their yeah. parents had the same name. I was like, As many oh, times as I see Martha Wayne die, <laughs> I didn't really put it together. I, and that him and, his, and Clark's mom had the same <laughs> name. Right. Wow. I, I never, I've never put them together because they've never been together, associated together. Like, I am Martha. I am yeah, Martha. You're right, so, right, right. Exactly. I, we've never seen that before, so I never thought of it. Yeah, it, it just <laughs> never. Never. But, it's funny but, to consider the degree to which Batman is actually a Superman ripoff, and like all those things actually are true. Like they just were like, "What's his, what's his mom's name? Ah, who gives? Yeah, uh, who cares? Hey, Martha. It's Martha, Martha, Martha." <laughs> <laughs> That's how it was. It really is. So they're like, we just have to get this out. Just put a name in there and get it out there. This is World War II. Yeah. World War II is going on. We don't have time to play around no. with plotting or getting things accurate. Now get a boy in tights in this picture now. Get him out there. To work as a popular name. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely. right. Name him Robin. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right. That's enough. That's enough for World War II news, real guy, for this stupid show. Right? That's, <laughs> that's more than enough. That's a double helping. Sorry, guys. So, so you know, this this Martha thing is like everybody maybe remembers when they were in preschool and they didn't make a best friend, and it would be for some stupid reason, like our moms have the same name, or you know, like we're both wearing red shoes, or some stupid. Something stupid right. like that, right? Your name's Michael. My name's Michael. Let's be friends. We'll We're be not best friends. The Michaels are one voting <laughs> block. We will dominate kickball together. And then you yeah. realize that and Michael goes, terrible hey, Michael, hand-eye we'll coordination. Turn at the same time go, what? <laughs> because everybody also had that same thing happen, and then you realize right away that was a mistake. You know what I mean? Like you're like, wow, we're both wearing a red hat, and then the hat turns around, and you're like, oh god, no, and you have to. <laughs> 
Pretty much. So, so you have like um um this 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 fight happen between the two, and you know they just have to do you know go to comic book blows, and then um I like um, this trophy Super- scene. This is another one of those uh that scene where uh, where Batman is punching Superman in the face, and it's doing progressively less, and then it does nothing. Is one of those <laughs> is probably one of the really good of the invulnerability tropes that we see, like in uh, when Brandon Rupp got shot in the eye <laughs> and it bounced <laughs> off. That was another really good one. So I did like that one. I mentioned that as something I really liked. This this whole fight scenario between them is just an adult. It just, it's just an adult Zach and his Zachness. You know, from the point of when we seen um, um, Batman um, flip on the bat signal, you know, to the end of where, you know, we get the Martha thing. All it is is just Zach, 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 Zach. Actually, it's done really good, you know, as far as like the fight, you know, you get the image of Superman. Um, I, I love the way he lifts Superman up in the sky and you just get this silhouette of Superman with the lightning and everything in the back and everything. He just looks really like, you know, this this is a potentially dangerous guy and everything. Um, but it's still Zachness. Yeah. So you get this whole this 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 whole you know fight between the two, and then the the you know Batman has him pinned down, um, with about to hit him with the the spear, you know, with the kryptonite spear and everything, and then you know um, Superman shouts Martha, why would you shout her name? That's your mom. I don't think if if <laughs> I don't think if I was pinned down in a fight and everything, I would start shouting out my mom's name. You know, I would I mean, say, Mom, Mom. There are mom. worse times to be pinned on the ground and shout out your mother's name for sure, right? The more, worst time. <laughs> but but first, would you say? But would you say her name? You've got, would, would, you've would, got would, Martha. Would, you've got to save Martha. Martha yes. who? You're, you're Martha Washington. Martha. Who are you talking about? Guy? The first first you lady. Know? She wasn't that great. I mean, all and, that's and, considered. And, and, and then, okay, I know Zach wants to relate it to what happened at the beginning with Bruce dying and everything. Uh, I don't know if they actually explicitly said that was Martha Wayne, maybe on like a grave site or whatever. It's on the grave. But, but here we're supposed to relate that, okay, why did you say that name? What did you say that name for? Why in that context would Batman even relate what Superman is saying to that? You know, yeah. I understand they both have the same name. Yeah, and you and when you see and Batman being as, as intense as he is, if Superman's calling out his mom's name, don't you think that would make him more intense? Like, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna stab him now. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> now you're talking about my dead mom? Oh, that's gonna make me <laughs> and, and, and and where does Lois come from? And she's listening to the conversation the whole time, I guess. It's his mom! <laughs> it's his mom. <laughs> and that's like her whole thing. Like, I mean, that's, it's his mom. It's his mom. As as intense as Batman is, the level of, the, oh, my goodness. <laughs> when, the, when, 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 the, the, <laughs> he's supposed to be, he's the 1%, you know, if the one yeah, person and everything. Oh, that, so, so, so you mean to tell me person. all it takes is Lois to come around and say, that's his mother's name. And all that just goes out the window. Now all that of a sudden he's. Friend. He, he's best friends with Superman now. You yeah. got, I, I, We're promise best you, friends. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you, Martha does not die tonight. <laughs> oh, save all the Marthas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> save all the Marthas. All the Marthas. You guys see the Americans? That Martha, too. She's on the list. <laughs> save all the Marthas. <laughs> all the Marthas. <laughs> Martha ain't Martha. dying tonight. <laughs> no, no, there's no, no Martha dying. To, not on my watch. Uh uh-uh, uh. No Martha. Uh-uh. You know, you say her name. Uh uh-uh, uh. That's when all this stops. We, we cool now. We, we cool. <laughs> <laughs> like when he was becoming Batman, he like was praying to God, and he's like, "If anyone says Martha to me, I'll stop. I'll stop." Whatever. <laughs> this right. is the one percent guy. I think, yeah, was that set up like Jeremy Irons goes? If he says Martha, what yeah. more time? I yeah, that's that's your code name. That's the code. That's a code. You know, that's right. a code on word to <laughs> stop and everything. Word. That's Martha's her safe our word. Safe word. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I so, want to point out one thing about this this whole th- apparatus here that just that's just so disappointing to me for so many many ways is this. This stupid spear and the fact that you have an immortal warrior from the past when they use, get ready for it, spears, and she doesn't touch the spear, right? Like she does, she's not the one to use it. And it drove me crazy because it's like having, you know, it's like having the Punisher 
and having a gun next to the Punisher and the Punisher punching somebody. You're like, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole sequence of her throwing the spear away. I mean, I understand why the logistics of it and well, then her having to, to go away. and Yeah, she wanted to get it away, but then having to go chase it back and everything. Yeah. It was just like, uh, I don't know about that. Y'all, Zach, you could have did better with that, you know, explanation and stuff. But it is what it is. Right. It's a three hour. Did, did you movie. really need like they... to throw it away like that? I mean, yeah. I mean... Did you really need uh, you got to go chase it and get it? And I'll create this whole lot, you know, big drama. OK, Superman has to go save her, Floating you know, back up for some reason like that. Um, I, uh, yeah. I, I don't I don't know. We about have that enough because we already had enough of that with the nuclear bomb. We had that exact shot because, you know, he loves that shot of Superman floating like. Oh yeah, like right, right. <laughs> like there's not a cross here, but yeah. what if there the, was a cross the, the here? Sun you know I mean? <laughs> One of those like, things. <laughs> how do how we how do we like Doomsday? No, awful, <laughs> awful, awful. That's not my Doomsday. That is not. I thought doomsday. Michael Shannon did a better job as the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> That is it, not my doomsday. Oh my it, god, what a waste of a great villain. What it, a waste. It was such a cop out to even have him in this movie. When when I heard yeah. that he was going to be in this movie, it's Batman versus Superman. So, you, a typical comic book movie trope is that you got to have the heroes team up and have a bigger villain at the end and everything. And that's what Doomsday turns out to be, even though the movie is called Batman versus Superman. Mm -hmm. It could have right. it, it could have the movie actually could have been cut there had you not have doomsday in this whole thing but zach wants to set it up to where superman is making this big sacrifice okay so let's also talk about the capital the capital um um i'm about to call it the capital riot scene <laughs> 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 the 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 um the 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 events at the capital right. you know this is building up this is building superman up to be this you know this this you know this being this alien <clears throat> this illegal alien or whatever they they don't want around the superman you know we don't want him around we got all these signs and everything mm -hmm. um and he lands at the capitol real good like right? you know in fact i love the way he, zach has superman flying everything and land his stuff real slow and smooth um come you know and actually talk to congress or whatever and you know present his thing um but we, we basically have this destruction you know this the the the, the capital blow up and everything it, it was just shades of what's was happening you know nowadays so it really you know struck me as far as that scene um but they're building superman up to be this 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 person that we you know the the the, the world doesn't want you know from the from the events in man of steel all the way up to right now superman is a dangerous person so when he sacrifices himself for doomsday i don't recall doomsday really doing that much destruction to where the world is just like okay we need to make to, to superman is all of a sudden you know he's he's our you know we need to to um to to he's our hero we need to make a statue of this guy you well, know well they made the statue after zod they made a statue zod. of of superman after after zod here's yeah here's another okay. reason Doomsday, why they wrecks the statue Doomsday, he stares at superman it fight at the okay, okay okay he looks okay, at it and yeah, he goes okay. ah I, I got you i got you so yeah. so why does so why does why, why is the world why is the world hating superman you know before then and everything why is it, why are they so against this right. guy well, well because, yeah, that's what, that's because what lex luthor earlier, is like what was like lex they built this, this they built this monument for him mm -hmm. destroying metropolis you know what i mean like did we worship this guy but yet he's going to be on trial you know just give him the accords you know i i, I don't get that mike i, I don't get that michael seriously you know this they the movie can't decide on which side they want superman to be um right. i understand what direction because they wanted they wanted to build him up to 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 to, to build momentum into actually being superman instead of the man of steel you know you know we're, we're still coming off that movie and you know they're they're slowly building this guy up to be like a christ type of figure he's going to sacrifice himself for the greater good. And then he's going to be resurrected, you know, in the next movie or whatever. As, but, you know, as go ahead. Cool, as cool as this subplot is though, it's like wholly unnecessary to this plot of this movie. Right. I mean, it, it sets up the Batman's like, like, you know, super guilt about all of this. 
but it doesn't like but it's like the Sokovia Accords and think about this this insane thing which is that this movie and Civil War came out at the same time pretty much I mean this is March yeah. 2016 yeah. and maybe yeah. like what April yeah. or May 2016 yeah. so they were in theaters yeah. simultaneously and they were both about the same thing one was much more successful than this this right. movie this movie and it's maybe every Zack Snyder movie I've ever seen so every movie and, and every and it's had this every movie except 300 has had this and 300 was just one music video for that guy's story right that's all it was but the you know so it was really it really worked but it's like a being it's like going to a really 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 nice restaurant and you get there and it's really fancy you know what i mean and maybe it's in maybe it's really nice because it has a really nice view or something like that and it looks great and you know people are bringing out dishes and everything looks great and then your dish gets there and it's like like not great <laughs> You know what I mean? But everything looks odd, but it looks incredible, right? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you try it, and it's, uh, it's not great. No, no. I'll but it looks insane, right? It looks yeah. so cool, but it's not great. And it's hard sometimes to put your finger on what it is, right? But it's because maybe some of this is just contrived tension, like you're saying. Like, oh, they love him. They hate him. Why do they love him? Why do they hate him? They want him here. They don't want him here. They want to rely on him as American, but they want him not to do these interventionist things. You know, there's just so much, so many different things going on at one time. You know, it's yep. just like you got to try to juggle everything. Yep, it's yeah. it's a lot of extra, and why? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Just... Uh, pick pick a direction and just go with it. If Superman is going to be this like you know extraordinary figure, make him be Superman or whatever. But yep. you're casting him out to be this 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 um um this alien like you know he's not supposed to be here and then all of a sudden like i said at the end of the movie you know we're we're seeing all these these vigils and stuff you know yeah. superman sacrificed himself you know for us you know and really what 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 did he do you know what really what, what they say essentially did he do they while he was a looming threat he didn't destroy city <laughs> you know like superman did you know <laughs> and in his fight with zod and everything he was he more or less um everything happened on the outside of metropolis um well they lowered the stakes for this one they were like oh it's totally uninhabited that island's uninhabited right. there's nobody yeah, there. it's like a dragon ball z sure point that out oh there's nobody here we could just, we can fight here all we want it doesn't yeah. matter what we destroy no we don't have to have the same moral conundrum as earlier which makes this fight inherently less interesting great right why yeah, would and, they do and, that why it, it, why it, it exists Why? just for the fact of the spectacle and everything, mm. which is is what it is. I do I do like the Trinity scene. You know, when Wonder Woman shows up, she she's coming as a badass and everything. You know, she shows up. You know, kicking kicking butt. You know, hold, going toe to toe with Doomsday and everything. And then we get the shot of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman in the middle. I love that scene. You know, it was it was very well right, shot. Was that? Yeah, the, the Holy Trinity. I thought she was with you, you know, like, yeah, yeah like, I, I best like line that. Of the I movie, like that. Probably. Shane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. But, but again, I mean, Wonder Woman as well, as well as we all love Wonder Woman, she's greatly portrayed. That movie should have came out before this movie. So we can have an introduction to these people. Could you imagine if it had though? Like the, the, we talk of this, about this on Carbonite Bounty BS, our Star Wars show, which everybody should check out if you're not. Uh, but we talk about this all the time about how they're redeeming things with future content, right? Stuff that if it were in place would have made the movie a lot better. So, you know, for me, maybe that's where we are where uh, with this stuff, right? Where if Wonder Woman had been out and I'd already seen it, then this this picture would have been like, <gasps> you know what yeah. I mean? Like a big yeah. deal because I would have already known all about Chris Pine and his wacky adventures in World War One. <laughs> right. Oh, we didn't even mention the, the the Justice League trailer in the oh, middle yeah. of the movie. I remember we talked about we've talked about this movie before on 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 a show, and yeah. I think I said then my favorite thing about this movie was the Justice League trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Still, is. they just served that right in there. <laughs> oh yeah, just you know, um, play play the music, and right. all of a sudden you get the trailer of like oh, and like look, it look. doesn't it doesn't make any sense. It it right. in the in. And uh, it is what it is. So. It's like oh, someone taking you aside and going, like, "We're going to introduce him on a laptop." Here we go. <laughs> Look, y'all, we we know this this is not great, but we promise the next one, it's going to be pretty great. That's what they're doing. <laughs> like, you want to come in? We we'll want another ten dollars from you, so we would we'd like you to come back next year for a movie that we promise won't be terrible. And then the movie ends like five times. Yeah. Right after, you know, so it should have been the end of the movie, Batman versus Superman. That's it, you know. Then we get Doomsday. Okay, all right. So they're they're fighting a big villain. So he dies. 
Then we get another, you know, um, 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 vigil thing and everything, uh, the, the the funeral scene and stuff. Um, so that that the whole thing happened, and then we get the the scene with um, Lex Luthor and um, Batman. Mm-hmm. I thought that should have been an after credit scene. Like, why would you put that well, right in the middle of that move? I mean, yeah. um, end of that thing. Well, yeah, I mean, even going even before that, Lex Luthor getting captured with um. Steppenwolf, you know, I mean, having oh, yeah, with yeah, 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 with, with, right? with the boxes, you know, yeah, everything. Right. I mean, uh, yeah, there could have been some nice Ed credit scenes there, but no, they just had, they had to throw that in and there, there's another trailer for the movie, you know, there, there's Steppenwolf right there, you know? <laughs> yep. So that, you know, the, and I, that's what I, that's all I have to say about this movie. I don't even want to go, go through any more of this stuff because we're going to talk about justice league next week the snyder, the snyder cut with twice as many scales and four, more four times as many hours it's going to be there's <laughs> going to be like all of a sudden you know some uh there's going to be some uh, some pop cuts and you know we have i think there's a cure song in the middle of it now so that'll be fine <laughs> you know there's going to be a big long training montage of just dudes working out and that's what i want to see too I, i'm gonna be honest i don't really know what he could have done that's more than what we've seen in a movie so i'm highly curious of, of of the movie we're supposed to be getting that's so different than what we've seen in the theaters well i guess the, the difference is dark adding dark side actually into the movie right you know i mean that, that's the first part of it well, well it's supposed to be more like you know un, uh, um unseen it was supposed it hit it was his movie and then the he, he because his um daughter had passed away and everything yeah. um he had to get taken off the movie um yeah. and then Josh we, they made Josh Weijen come in and then they took Warner Brothers got took the opportunity to use that to disregard a lot of the stuff that um Zach had um filmed and they shot a whole bunch of stuff with um Josh and all of a sudden, you know, we get like a whole different movie. He would, uh, Chris Nolan, because he's an executive producer on the movie, um, told um, or, or told his wife not to let Zach see that movie that we saw in the theater because he was so, be so disappointed and upset. So we're about to be entertained at the very least. <laughs> we'll see. These it'll be a sumptuous buffet for the visual senses. You know what I mean? It will look. Incredible. And here's the weird thing, because this is the same thing about his his Watchmen, right? Which is, it was exactly what we asked for, and not that great. So, yeah. it, it, it's what a conundrum, and it's hard for me to even put my, like I say, I have a hard time putting my finger on what about what it is about this that seems like so eye-rolly, but it does. Some of this stuff does. So, I'm excited for next week to see if maybe he can resurrect this movie and then retroactively also resurrect this movie and resurrect Wonder Woman and resurrect, you know what I mean? And really kind of get that momentum going for this franchise, which of course would be great for us. And we'll be here next week uh, with coverage of Justice League, uh, you know, uh, Zack Zack Snyder's Snyder's Zack Zack Snyder. Zack. (laughs) The Snyder cut. The Snyder (laughs) cut. So we'll be back for that, you know, real, like real hardcore nerds. Uh, any other final thoughts before we go, Michael? Anything you want to say that, before we uh, jump ship here? Yes. We didn't get to talk about it, but real fast, they played Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy Olsen's <laughs> not a CIA agent. They played him. That was that was Rest in peace, poor. Jimmy Olsen. His poor. His that poor. wasn't the real Jimmy Olsen. That was a fake. I think it's That's so not that my the, Jimmy Olsen. When the real that Jimmy is, Olsen shows up, they can Jimmy all Olsen. do a double take, you know? That's uh, not my Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> how about you, DP? Anything? You have anything to say? Hey, you know, it was a... Um, it was an interesting, you know, um, um, watch again and everything. And um, I, 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 I love watching, you know, this movie over, you know, with you guys and stuff. So we'll see what Justice League brings us. All right, everybody. We'll be back with Nerd Psycho Comic Flick Show. Throw us a like. Throw us a follow. We'll see you all here uh, next week. On our other show, we say this is the way. But here, we're just not going to say anything. We're just going to cut it randomly. We, we're just going to go away. Yeah. <laughs> NCFS is a production of Nerdcyclopedia Podcasts. Nerdcyclopedia.